So, uh, Stephanie. Mm. Uh, this is the place we first met. I, I have a pretty, I, I have an important question to ask you. It's actually kind of the most important question I could ever ask anyone, so... <laughs> Whatever it is, the answer's no. Okay, seriously, Debbie, he cheats on you once, he will cheat on you again. I've told this girl over and over again that she's just gonna get hurt. <sighs> Stephanie? Ben? <clears throat> oh my God, what the hell are you doing? Will you marry me? I just turned 23. I mean, I have my whole life ahead of me. I do too. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Um, I don't want to be tied down. Uh, how are you? What are you it's tied down? No, I don't. Look, it's not you. It, it is you. I don't want to. I. I. I can't be with you. But you're super great. I thought you wanted a kid. Uh, kids? Family? But you're not your kids. What the hell's wrong with my future kids? Well, for one thing, you're short. Short people are go-getters, okay? Napoleon, Prince, everyone loves Prince. Yoda, Gandhi was fairly five feet tall. He united a nation. Yeah, okay, well, I don't like Prince, and you're not exactly a go-getter. I mean, you just got fired. We'd have no money. I'll get another job, okay? Or, or, or I'll start my own business. Plus, your last name is Weimaraner, so... Prior is a pretty big step up. Okay, I'm not gonna marry you just for your name. And you know what? You're kind of like this little sad puppy that follows me around all the time. I can't take- I can be less of a puppy. I can be a cat. Do you want me to be a cat? I'm allergic to cats. Ah, I knew that. I knew that. God, look, it's been fun, okay? It's been super fun. But let's just let it go. I mean, even if you were financially stable, I'd still dump you. Look at it this way! At least we're not in some sham of a marriage! I mean, we'd end up hating each other! I will never hate you, no matter how much you hurt me. Oh, well, that's really sweet, but all my friends agree. I take it back. All, all your friends? Well, not Debbie. She doesn't know. Well, you can tell Debbie that I just took your engagement ring and I threw it off the balcony! I wish you were beautiful on the inside, too. So, that's how it went down. She should have shot you. You need a way to vent. I mean, more than just with the two of us. I tried journaling, but I just... I'm not a good writer. Look, you don't have to be Dan Brown to be able to write into a journal. If your idea of good fiction is the Da Vinci Code, then... We're done being friends. Look, I was just naming someone he'd be familiar with. And at least I don't fawn over stories about wizards and fairies and unicorns and shit. I have never read a novel that has unicorns in it. Or dress up as an elf and chase people in the woods with a PVC sword. Don't start. And I am a dryad paladin asshole. There's a difference. What are you talking about? She started LARPing. Stop. I'll show him that video of you learning how to twerk. LARPing? is live action role playing, which means she ventures into the woods with a bunch of desperate back knee ridden basement dwellers and they chase each other around with homemade swords, shields made out of duct tape and sadness. One, I am not desperate. Two, you wouldn't last a minute. And three, some of those guys are Hugh Jackman hot. I am not desperate. Yeah, but it doesn't count when they pay you. I'm done. You need an outlet, Mikey. She literally just took her ball and went home. You're pretty rough back there with Hannah. Yeah, I know. I'll give her a call later. But look, you gotta get over Stephanie. Talking to you and Hannah and my brother has helped. I feel better for a little. But I just, uh, I can't shake this, this cartoon thundercloud that's always above my head. I have this feeling that if, if I can just get her to try it again, 
help her to uh, make her agree to just give it one more shot. Then it will all be better. Look, that's not gonna happen. You gotta get it through your head that you're never getting back together. Never. Ever. Period. End of story. She was cute, though. Very cute. But you're still not getting back together with her. You gotta find some sort of outlet. What would you do in my situation? If I were you, I'd have lots of sex with beautiful women. I don't, that doesn't really... You know, on the bright side, Ben, there are at least a dozen other people who are as bad off as you. You know, actually, that's... Wait, that, that's not such a bad idea. Life coaching? Teaching other people? I mean, you always say how you want to start a business. What if you became a person trainer of sorts? Like, like, have you ever seen the movie Hitch? I don't. It doesn't matter. I can teach you how to teach men to seduce women. No, I'm not so cool with that. But um, maybe I could help them have better first dates. Well, that's a little more tame than I was thinking, but I'm game. Well, what are you doing tomorrow? Helping you, apparently. It seems no one is actually listening. Look, Ben, I know you're all about the name, but what are the things I told you you need to do to start a business? Um... Mission statement, legal structure and insurance, plus you need to get an EIN, employee identification number, and you need to hire a tax advisor, and you need to set up a bank account. And? And the name. The name is the soul of the company, okay? And, and look, I read the manual online. I can do all those other things tonight. It'll take me a couple hours. Hey, Richard. You still working on that name? Yep. Good luck with that. Here's what I've got. <clears throat> so it's dating and relationship coaching, right? How about game changers? That's not bad. Going steady, suspended relations, date works. Those are fine, they're just missing something. Simply single, more than friends, sex ed. Oh, that one I do like. Playing by heart, talk of the town, little sparks. Ben Pryor's one stop, date shop. Singled out? 90 show on MTV. Look, how many of these things do you have? Dozens. Save the date. I like that. No, it sounds like a bridal store, plus the acronym on the sign is going to be STD. Mikey, do you have any ideas? Well, if it was pirate-themed, we could call it courtships. Ah, that's surprisingly clever. All right, all right, here's one. How about heartbreaking bad? No. Ben, I'm moving out later tonight. S since when? Well, there's this amazing indie rock scene happening right now in Chile. I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna start a really good band. I, I can probably give you some money for the next month's rent. You know, just so you don't have to go looking for somebody to replace me, okay? Of course, but why Chile? You gotta follow your soul. Can, can, can we talk about this later in more detail? I'll need a ride to the train station later, but there's really nothing to go over. 
My heart is set on the music of the Andes. Andale! Okay, I'm gonna, uh, andale to the bathroom. Look, Ben, we'll come up with something. Well, don't look at me. I gave you dozens. You sure I can't persuade you to stay? Ben, I've spent too long trying to be what other people want me to be. I want to get a band together, get set up, and just play, you know? But why the hell Chile? I mean, did, did all of the hipsters migrate out of our city? There's this great retro rock movement happening right now. It's called La Musica del Corazon. It's music of the heart. I mean, that's how jazz started. That's how rock and roll started. That's how the blues started. People just pouring their souls into the music to their songs. And I want to have a band that just really does that. Well, why can't you try and incorporate La Corazonel music into something up here? I've already even got some band names. Want to hear them? And this place has a sizable rock scene. The Shed Weasels. No animals. Monster Aid, The Pilot, Casino Bus, Dictator Pants, Vintage Ogre, Sinking Leland. Walking like people. 280s. Response unit. Sober Joel. Paper gold. Mud waffle. Anything but mud waffle. How did you come up with these? Some of these are pretty good. And look, the name isn't the point. It's what you play. Excuse me. I overheard you earlier saying that the name is your business's sole hypocrite. Yeah, but I didn't decide to start a dating business in El Salvador. Well, you know, there's plenty of escort businesses already in Latin America. It's not an escort business, it's a dating studio. But don't you get it, man? This place is dry. There's no heart. Everyone here is either washed up or sold out. Well, I don't want to bring up a sore subject, but maybe you should learn to read music. Doesn't matter. Next topic. Back to your escort business. Not an escort Look, dude, business. You need a mission statement. And really, get the articles of organization, the EIN, bank account, and the tax stuff done as soon as you can. It's really not that hard to do. How do you know all this? When I was in college, I was running a non-alcoholic Jello shots company. So, isn't that just Jello? Doesn't matter. But I had a name for you the moment you said you were going to start this thing up. Oh yeah? What's that? Ready? Ben's booty call. <laughs> I'm just... No, I'm kidding. It's called Prior Engagements. It's perfect. Spelled like our last name. You know, P-R-Y. I got that part. Prior Engagements is really going to be great. You know that, right? I hope so. So, <clears throat> so essentially, I think I could be profitable within 18 months, depending on various factors, 24 on the outside. You know, I do like the idea. So I want to go ahead and give you the benefit of the doubt and fund 75% of your operating expenses for the first 12 months. That means so much to me. Um, <laughs> thank you. Th thank you. I have some contacts that will more than likely provide the rest. Could you just do me one favor? Uh, of course, anything. Wear pants to our next meeting. It's okay. Yeah, I got it. You are wearing pants. You know, you can always just call these people and reschedule. I can't reschedule now. It's all or nothing. Well, we're here. You know, take a minute before you go in. Compose yourself. Don't stress. You're gonna be great. Okay. 
Oh, Ben, stay awake. Okay. So, okay, so what's, what's the big problem with relationships? No one knows what they're doing. A couple months ago, right, I got broken up with. And the girl that broke up with me, she was, I thought she was gonna be the woman I married. I was in love with her. I was in love with her, but she broke up with me. So, you know, I, so I don't know what I did, but it means I did something wrong along the way. I, I just kept wishing. I remember I, I, I kept wishing. I was like, um, what did I do? And who can tell me what I did wrong? That led her to go away. I, I want to create a studio, a place. Okay, you, you go to a strip mall. And there's, and there's karate studios, um, voice studios, dance studios, but there's not a, a dating studio. And that's what I'm seeking to bring to the consumer, right? Tuesday nights, you've got, um, you've got like, uh, you've got table, table manners. Uh, uh, late night classes, you've got bedside manners, you know? Um, and it's a place for guys and girls to get advice um, on how to, uh, uh, date, how to date with someone. Yeah. It's all right there. I think if you invest, I think you'll get your money back and, uh, in, in, you'll get your money back. You know, this idea is very fascinating, but right now we're just not taking on any new ventures. I tell you what, if you can somehow raise the money, I'll uh, help guide you through the uh, setup process. Give me a call. for weeks on this without end and this is how it ends let's just go home not yet why it's a surprise I put in a lot of work and I've got nothing on my return okay so I'm running out of money energy everything not today you're not trust me Ben this is Alfie baby shoes Holloway baby shoes huh <laughs> He has a problem that I think you can help him with. How's that? No, oh, I've never been in love. I can see that. Hey, be nice, he's a first client. That was kind of rude. I'm, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. You're right, you're right. Okay, l let's, let's forget about love, right? Let's talk about you. When was your last relationship? Uh, about 40 months ago. You measure in months, okay. What happened? I can't trust anyone, all my girlfriends, and there's only been four of them. I've all ended up cheating on them. Uh, baby shoes. Uh, are you saying that just going on a date with someone else means that you're in a relationship with them? Uh, I don't follow. When a man and a woman no, like each other. He's not 12. I think he might need the basics here. When a man and a woman like each other, one will ask the other out on a date, okay? But this doesn't mean that they're relationship, mutual, together, exclusive. Okay, um, what's going on is that when you think she's cheating on you, what she's actually doing is exploring other options. It's totally natural. That doesn't sound right. Okay, we'll work on that. Look, I think we've got a little too much to cover here in just one sit down. So, but here's what I want you to do. I want you to come to my place, okay? Once a week for the next two months. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do that, yes. Great. Yes. Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I, I, I don't, I don't Oh, no, 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 I want to, please. Ben, it's a business. Take the money. I'll frame it. I do have to ask you, though. Yeah, why baby shoes? Yeah, well, I'll tell you when I have a girlfriend, okay? 
There's $49,980 to go. I have an idea. I'll be ready in about a week. Hey! Hello! Thank you for coming to our fundraiser. Uh, we might be small, but we're mighty. Um, we hope you have a great time tonight. Uh, we would love if you could um, donate money. Um, I know there are many of us, but uh, it only takes a few people to change the world or someone's life. <laughs> I don't think you need that anymore. Ask not what this fundraiser can do for you. Ask what this fundraiser can do for Ben. Uh, hi, my name is Ben. You guys, um, I'd like to thank you guys for coming. Out of all of my Facebook friends that said yes to the event, you were the ones that came. And uh, that means a lot to me. Um, we're going to have Mike on the kissing booth. And um, I'm going to be walking around talking to you guys. So... Uh, this is great, you know, feel free to text your friends and tell them to come. Um, you can still, you can probably still make it. Um, yeah. If you'd like to donate to Ben, you can give your money to me, Hannah. And I'll be at the kissing booth. <coughs> the kissing booth. And give yourselves a round of applause, because there's more people here tonight than the voter turnout for Detroit's new mayor, so at least there's that. All right, well, thanks, guys. Um, this is uh, this is great. This is seriously awesome. So just uh, have a good time. I mean, uh, yeah, have a good time. We should have got tonight. blues. We should have got blues for everyone. Yeah. Is that good? Hey. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Whoa! Hey, what's up, bro? What's no, up? Nothing, bro. Dude, you been you're just like one of the guys, aren't you? Um, who's that blonde girl? Why are we here? Tell me why we're here. We're here for the fun. Yeah. You're yep. Right. Yep. Not yeah, being you right. with girls. You're right. You're right. Yes. You're right. Although it might be good research. Hi hey there. Uh, is, is, oh. this, is this seat taken? What's your name? Jenny. Oh yeah? John Knight. <laughs> uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> Heard that one before? They're always watching Forrest Gump with him, Jesus. It's a good movie, it's always on TNT. Good one. My name's Ben. Nice to meet you, Ben. Good to meet you. Bye Nye. <laughs> uh, that's I've never gotten that before. What are you doing here tonight? Who are you with? Uh, Who are you? You know, with? I'm friends with Hannah. Oh you're friends with Hannah? Uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, Elf or Wizard. I'm sorry? I didn't tell him that I knew her from high school. No, no, I mean, oh. she does her thing. I, I do my thing. Not into this. Oh, so Wizard. Sure, yeah, I'll take yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your thing? What do you, what do, you do? My, my thing is scarves. I make scarves. Oh, yeah? Yeah, why don't you talk about hats? Oh yeah, make some socks. Yeah, great. Do you need underwear? And then I sell them. Hold on. I'm just getting a text. Oh, while well, my phone's out. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, this, this is terrible. Yeah, you because know, I want to talk more about your scarves. Right, and maybe yeah, buy a scarf. sure. I, I'm sure I, I need a scarf. So I'm curious. I, I really hate big business. Okay. I'm, start, I'm a small business myself. I'm a small Are you? Man, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna. Yeah. What? Yeah. You know what? I'll, let me know. You can just let me know if you'd like a scarf. Yeah. And um, I will just <laughs> get you a scarf. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for this girl. Oh, I feel so bad. It's I'm okay. Gonna, she was really mean in high school. I'm gonna have to take her out now. I feel so bad. You taken? <laughs> I I can't watch. I can't watch. Come on, 
What's up, sexy? Doug. Hey. Hey! Thanks so much for coming. Hey, not a problem. I'm glad I could help you. So, <laughs> aside from the money, how's the uh, business coming? Tons of work. Um, gotta learn a lot about business. And I'll, not just that, but a lot about the ins and outs of dating, too. How to be Don Juan, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, we should meet up sometime. I would love to show you all the things I've learned, you know, in this process. <sighs> Absolutely. I I'm free anytime you want to meet. Well, how about this? I'll, uh, I'll call you sometime this week. <sighs> Excellent. <laughs> all right, Benji. All right. Best looking girl in the joint. What are, you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I Stop wanted to talk. Talk? talk? Okay, well then answer my phone calls. I'm sorry, I've been going through a really tough time. <laughs> oh, okay. I've been going through a great time. So, here, I'm ready to listen. Oh yeah, I'm ready to give. I'm pregnant. Uh, oh, for Christ's sake, Ben, I'm not pregnant. Look, I've just missed you, and I wanted to patch things up. Why are you messing with me like this, Stephanie? I'm Why? Like <laughs> I know that. Okay. Yes, just, it is. We're just talking. Thank you. We're just talking. It's good. Thanks. Actually, okay. what are you doing tomorrow? Actually, uh, do you want to go on a date? Yeah, go. We'll talk about it. Go on a date. Mm hmm. Let's go back to the party. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Great. Oh, bye. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, you know you want it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. You're the grossest person I've ever met. I love you. So, how'd we do? How much we make? Like, 20 bucks? $600. What? $600 can get you to New York for like, two days. Wait, that's amazing! Look, you may have to stay in the streets, and if you want to shower, hope that it rains, but you'll get there. Boys are gross. I found a place. Okay, well, how much are we talking here? An arm and a leg. And a kidney. And my first part. But the thing is, it's right by campus, and there's a lot of young foot traffic. And then there's staff advertising. You know, the sign alone is gonna cost me $8,000. $8,000? That's a lot of money. We, uh, let's celebrate tonight. We, we made money. Yeah. I love you guys. Thanks, Anna. What? Why do you two always look at me like I can't take a compliment? Because you can't. Hannah, we both love you. Aww. Even if you are. Mikey! Hey, Ben. Uh, thanks for coming. What do you got for me? Hmm. This is very impressive. So how many investors are you going to? Uh, all of them. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> About 12. I have it all planned out so that I'm flying in tomorrow on Sunday and I'm talking to seven investors and then I'm sleeping in the Motel 6 and then on Monday I talk to five investors and I fly home. <laughs> That's a lot of Red Bull. No, I'm doing it all zen-like. Hannah has me on this yoga breathing technique that I'm supposed to do in between the meetings. Breathing, stretching, stuff like that. Helps me find my chi. Well, I need to find my chai, so I'll be right back. Cool.
<sighs> Can I give you some advice? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you need to learn how to work women. Not like a pickup artist or anything, but those dating books you've been reading, they're only gonna take you so far. From what I saw at the fundraiser, you need to have women chase you, not the other way around. Okay? You're the dog, not a puppy. Well, it's funny you say that because the girl... You have to lead them on. Make them want you. Give them a little information about who you are and, you know, what you're about. And then give them the cold shoulder. Just a little bit. Let me put it another way. Let's say some women, really attractive women, is coming on to you, right? She's all on you. You're thinking to yourself, man, I'm doing great. Life is good. But she just sticks around. And she just follows you everywhere you go. She doesn't leave your side. She becomes clingy, just like you. You can't be that, man. You gotta be alpha. Take charge, call the shots. Eh? Oh, sorry, man, I gotta take this. Yeah. Yeah? No, well, that's complete crap. No. I'm in a meeting right now. Well, it's not that important. No. No. All right, fine. Fine. Bye. Sorry, man. I gotta get going. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, I just work with a lot of uh, crazy people. <laughs> uh, but listen, have a great flight in New York. Uh, hit me up when you get back, okay? Uh, thank you. Yeah. These drawings. I love these drawings. Can I keep these? Uh, sure. Yeah, they're just copies. And these too, right? Yeah. I'll take a look at your business plan, and uh, when you get back, we'll reconvene, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Listen, I have a safe flight. I gotta get going, but I'll be seeing you. I hate flying, but I'll try. to stay far away from Ben. It hurts him too much. Hurts him? Do you not see that if he has any hope of moving on from you at all, you can't keep entering his life? But what are you, his secret service? No, I'm his friend, and friends don't backstab the people they care about, a concept clearly foreign to you. What's foreign to you is how much of an ass you are. I'm here to give you an ultimatum. Either you stay far away from Ben, or I'm gonna start finding out a way to deport you. I've been here since I was 11. This is my home. Then just make your home far away from Ben. Huh. I don't know what he sees in you. Loyalty. Oh, and I suppose it would have been loyal of me to stay in a relationship that was never going to work out. No, but the way you went about it could have been a little different. So I was supposed to accept his proposal and then break his heart by breaking it off? Oh, come on, you know I did the right thing. Hey, stay away. I mean, I can't...
how are we supposed to conduct professional employment interviews if you show up looking like Tinkerbell? I didn't have time to change. Well, can you at least take the ears off? No, I can't at least take the ears off. They're glued to my body. That would be a pain. Ben is off in New York working his ass off, and I'm here stuck next to King Arthur's house elf. I am not a house elf. Welcome. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. How are you guys today? How are you? I don't want to shake your hand. Thanks for dressing up for the occasion. Much appreciated. Oh, of course, of course. Good afternoon. Your Good name is Lester Higgins. Mr. Higgins, nice to meet you. My name is Mikey. Mikey. I'm Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Nice to meet you. Uh, good. <laughs> well, I brought a copy of my resume. Is that your resume? It is. Oh. Oh, that's a... Uh... Do you have a resume? What is that? Could we, could we take a look? <laughs> sure. Here it is. Is that a resume? Yeah. Yeah, we'd oh, love to see that. I have my degree in psychology. I've had tons of experience dating. I help my friends with their boyfriend troubles. Uh, I'm good working with myself. I uh, did some counseling with Planned Parenthood, actually. So I did some sex ed on college campuses. Oh, great, great. So that's, uh, do that. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're looking I'm for. I'm really good at putting on condoms. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the past relationships you've had in your life? Oh, well, uh, I've been through a few. Well, I, I, I was dating this girl and I probably shouldn't have dumped her. Relationships really suck, you know? What's your longest relationship been? Longest. With someone. I've done everything, you know. Um, married, girlfriends, Jack, Jack. When it comes to dating, I like to consider myself somewhat of a uh, tiger. Really? You know, I, I got stripes. Women like stripes. Good to know. I'm very sociable. Guys really like me. Specifically men. I thought we're not supposed to get into personal issues on these. With the nature of the business mm -hmm. we're trying to open, um, the state legislature does allow us to ask if you'd be comfortable giving out certain types of advice on a more mm -hmm. intimate, sexual nature. Are you comfortable with that? Uh, I, I, I... Okay. Yes, as long as they don't try to touch me, I'm fine. Describe for me a perfect date for you. Perfect date. Well, it usually starts with um, kind of a Skype chat. I like to meet for coffee. This, wait, wait, what? I don't think we have time. <laughs> you ask the weirdest questions. <laughs> I would want someone really rich. You don't, you don't have to worry about Mikey. Why is that? Because you're not rich. I'm not poor. Yeah, you're not that kind of rich. Seriously. Spock. Beth, picture me and you on a date. We're having a great time. I would never date you. Okay, what advice would you give someone who came and told you that they could never get a second date with someone? How would you how would you help them do that? Uh, I tell them try harder. When you get on a date, it's practice. Do you have any formal experience? One time a uh, senator asked me for a nickel bag. And if we were to drug test you, how would that test come back? Um, define drugs. Yep, that is... That's multiple red very flags. red flags, yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, we're also looking for uh, someone to work the front desk. Oh, Do you have yes. any experience in that regard? Working front desk? So how does this work? I, do I get to meet the people first before they meet anyone else? or? Oh, I think there's there's been a miscommunication. Employees can't date clients. Uh, what's your schedule currently like? 
pretty open. I take it your schedule's wide open at the moment? Oh, yeah. Well, I think that this has gone really well. Uh, Me too. Thank you. We will be in touch. Okay. Not literally. I don't want to freak you out. <laughs> How soon? Uh, well, uh... Eventually. Do you have any questions for us? Are you single? We have my... My email. We have your email right and like, your Instagram Facebook. name, your Facebook, yeah. MySpace. It's all right all here. There. Hotmail account. Yes. Hey. Hey, dude. Haven't talked in a while. I'm toast. Can we talk a different day? Why? What happened? Something wonderful. But I'm exhausted, and Hannah and Mikey want to get a jump on things tomorrow. How's Chile? Good, good. The music scene is... different than I was expecting. But I'll let you get some sleep. Thanks. Hey, how do you have internet down there? This isn't North Korea, you know. Not every country is ass backwards. I just pictured you on top of Mayan ruins wearing a sombrero and playing maracas. Dude, I'm in Santiago. I don't even know where that is. Typical American malnacido. Go to bed. Wait. Before you go, do you think I can make this happen? Well, you, you mean your escort business? Not an escort business. Ben, get some sleep. We'll talk. Hugs to you. You too. life is in this business. Look, we're gonna do great. Just don't expect a rush of customers on the very first day. It's a slow uphill climb to the top. Is that gonna be okay? That thing cost $8,000! Should have gotten the insurance for that. It's not an omen. But it was a sign. Your sign's busted. Yeah. We know. So am I first? Only if you sign up. Baby shoes? Yeah, why is it baby shoes? Well, my mom, when I was a kid, named me that because every step that I took was a small one. I did things really slowly, so she just started calling me baby shoes. Like baby steps. Well, I'm glad you took this baby step. Hey, look familiar? Hey, that's my 20, I think. It is. Anyway, take a seat. So, what brings you in today? I met a girl. Awesome. I met her uh, through my mom. Uh, she goes to the same church. What's her name? Trish. She's really pretty and really smart. I think that it's going to go really well. I'm going to ask her to the Jesus Died for Our Sins dance at the church, and hopefully she says yes. A Jesus died for our sins dance? Don't start. So anyway, um, since you're dating a church girl now, she's probably a little more conservative than some of the girls you've dated in the past, so you probably don't have to worry about her, you know, seeing other guys. Oh no, I think, from what I've heard, she can be quite a freaky little deaky. <clears throat> so, it's important to be yourself when you meet someone, but you also want to dial down the creepy just a little. Am I being creepy? Yeah, a bit. Like the whole meeting people through your mom thing, the baby shoes thing, and the freaky little deaky thing. <laughs> like, you don't want to come out guns blazing crazy right from the get-go. Especially from the guy's side. And from the girl's side too, you want to come across in the beginning as cool, confident, and collected. I mean, everyone can be a little nuts. Some more than others. God, no one is perfectly normal. But when you're meeting someone from the beginning, you want to keep it locked down a little bit. 
that's not who I am. And that's all right. You bring it out slowly, but you're going to scare people off if you come on too strong too quickly. Describe those four girls that you dated. They were nice, they were pretty, and seemed to have their lives together. But you only knew each of them for a week. All those girls, I'm sure, had their own struggles that they went through. Their own weirdness and problems that they didn't share with you because you didn't have enough time to meet them. Once people start forming a committed relationship, then you deal with the problems, but not out of the gate. That's pretty smart. That was surprisingly smart. Good job, Ben. Well, I'm ready. Sign me up. Mikey will get you all set up. Uh... Be nice. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I just can't keep doing everything forever. We need a secretary. I know. We need a lawyer. I know. We need an accountant. Jesus, Mikey. And I'm tired of making the website. Good God, quit yelling. It's a complete mess here. What do you think? It looks wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. Was that Alfie? Yeah, he's our first official client. Yeah. That's wonderful. Uh, how about I take you and Mikey out to dinner tonight to celebrate? Mm, I don't know if Mikey can. Um, I know he's got catering tonight. Just I really hope he can work here. We've been gelling so well and I know he needs the money. What about you? You still up for it? Uh, for what? Dinner. Oh yeah, uh, like takeout? Or I could just cook, you know, in the I kitchen. I can help you. You cook? No, you're right. I can't, I can't cook. <laughs> hey, Ben! Hey, no yelling, Mikey! Jeez. So, so what What time do you think? What? Uh, what time will you be done? Oh, we should get like a phone in here, like an intercom or something. Ben! No yelling, Mikey! Jeez. Yeah, uh, what time works for you? <laughs> oh, man, I, I don't know. Okay, well, whenever we're all like done here or something like that, okay? Oh, okay, cool. I, I gotta go. Yeah. Okay. Ben! Ben! You can start. Oh, thank God. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast? Mentos. What'd you have for lunch? Butterfinger. And Cheetos. Oh, those are all your basic food groups. You got the riboflavin. Uh, you have red number five, high fructose corn syrup. Monosodium glutamate, yellow six. Plus I had Mountain Dew for the uh, calcium. Oh, you know what? I heard that was really good for your bones. All the best LARPers drink it all the time. Yeah, well, you know, it's liquid heroin. Mm. You're right, by the way, this is a lot better than Taco Bell. Thanks. I got all the ingredients by hand. I even opened and unwrapped everything just for you. I love a woman who knows how to use a microwave. Oh, speaking of which. Microwaves? Women. Did you make that last hire? Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go with that one that you recommended. With the curly hair. You said she interviewed well. And plus, Mikey said she's cute, so, you know. Hold on. You can't hire someone just because she's cute. That's illegal. Well, you said she interviewed well. Her being cute is just a bonus. What the hell? You could get fired for that. I'm the boss. <laughs> oh, you're right. No, I'm. You're right. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just joking. Oh. No, you're not. What? That's a total dick move. What? You're not going to be like this at work, are you? Uh, act like this at... What? Act like this at... at what? D d no! Oh my god. You are totally going to hit on the clients. You can't do that. You're the boss. So what if I did hit on them? I'll quit for one. Not to mention that you could get into a lot of trouble. They could file sexual harassment claims. They could sue you and you never got a lawyer. Not to mention that it's like really sketchy. Why do you care? What's your angle, huh? What's my angle? I don't have an angle, Ben, you little shit. It, you know why? It's... Ugh. You're 
a great friend and an amazing person. You and my brother and Mikey are the people in my life that are closest to me. You're my best friends. You know that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Thanks again for all this. Yeah, anytime. It is Taco Bell. I knew it. I think a lot of what we talked about as far as like knowing when to call it quits, knowing when to move on, you know, um, that's all very important. Having fun? And it's just, hey, Ben, it it'd like be more fun if it were you and me up there. Or well, you just you wait until Saturday. What's happening Saturday? <laughs> well, you know, I got some <laughs> surprises up my sleeve. Do you? Yeah, I got okay. a little something. Hey, something. hey sexy. Maybe just like a quarter uh, of Having fun, stud? Uh... This is me saying I quit. Wait, what? Can, can we talk about this another time, like not at you work? You know, Ben, I really wanted this to work out. I did. Busted. Uh, everyone, just stay where you are. Just, uh, we'll, I'll, we'll take care of this in just a second. Just, um, practice foreplay or small talk. I don't know, just, yeah. Hannah, what do you want me to do? I can't be a part of this. I'm not going to get into trouble. It's not about whether you get into trouble or not. Please, don't go. Why? This is why. Not like this. What? What are you doing? I'm kind of scared to move. Stay away from me. <laughs> that looked pretty serious. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I just had a little disagreement with my Hannah. My co-worker, my, my co-owner. So how's the business doing? It's doing really well. It's doing really well. We're getting an average of one new client per day, which is great. Our drop rates are a little higher than I wanted, but we're working on retention rates. I think we're going to figure it out. You know, we haven't been open for very long, but I'm really feeling like we're not going to be part of that 50% of businesses that fail statistic. Great, great. So the market research has paid off. Oh, that was all Mikey. He's good with the numbers. Hey, I was actually just about to head out, but feel free to take a look at anything you like. Oh, I already have. Really? Yeah, I've been in uh, quite a bit, you know, here and there. Oh, okay, no kidding. Well, let me tell you something. Just between you and me, there are some girls huh? that have been signing up that are really cute and really needy. And I could get you the hookup. Thanks for the offer, but, uh, I'm good. Okay. Honey? Hey. No kidding. But hey, you're the big dog now. Yeah, big dog. Ha <laughs> Woof! Woof! Anyway, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's working over here. Oh, you know, I'm actually...
actually not even doing any work. I'm just <laughs> online shopping. The most important thing is honesty. You got to be honest with yourself about what you're looking for, and you have to be honest with the other person about what you're looking for, and also about who you are. Hey, uh, Hannah. Uh, can you, can you call me back? Okay. Um. All right. Bye. Hey, Hannah. Uh, it's it's Ben. Um, call me back. Uh, I want to talk. Surprise! I want to talk, but like on the phone, not in person, because I don't want to see you cry. Because when you cry, it makes me feel weird, and I have to confront my emotions. Just just give me a call back, okay? Just just give me a call back, and I I'm. I just need to talk to you. Can't talk in person because I'm afraid of confrontation. Hey, Hannah, I know I'm leaving you a lot of voicemails, but, um... Uh, yeah, I mean, you can kiss girls that are, like, cute and that are into you, but, like, not your clients, because that's weird and illegal. But, like, what if they're, like, cute and into me? Yeah, like I said, if a girl is cute and into you, totally kiss her. Oh. Then, get your shit together. I can multitask while I'm setting up your website. Do you want to talk, or are you just going to sit there and stew? Well, apparently Hannah's pissed at me. And apparently Doug is dating our secretary. Well... First off, Doug can date whoever he wants, and of course Hannah's pissed at you. You know? Of course I know. Yeah, well, I pretty much made out with her at the office today. No, you didn't. Yeah. Look, I know you're excited at the prospect of dating a bunch of needy, heartbroken, emotionally unstable women, but you shouldn't really treat this business as some sort of ego-boosting way to mark off some sort of seduction scorecard, so to speak. Plus, Hannah's probably like the best thing that's ever happened to you, so don't lie and don't treat her like a checkbox. Then why do you hate her so much? I don't hate her. I just don't like people all up in my territory. I'm your territory. That's not what I meant. I just don't have a lot of friends. I'll just lay off her, okay? The thing is, I've just been scared to tell her that I, uh, it's... Friendships don't survive relationships. I'd have nothing. Well, she doesn't want to talk to you either at the moment, so you're off to a great start. This calls for you. Hey kid, just wanted to say hi. Hey, how's it going down there? How's the Corazon de Muerte or whatever you call it? Eh, not so great. Uh, most of the musicians down here are hippie expat stoners just looking for some company. But mom told me you're um, Mr. Big Shot Businessman now. How's that holding up? It's doing great. I can't foresee anything bad happening to it. We're making money, getting new clients every week. When you're done with your walkabout, you should come work for me. With me. So that's how this is? Kid hiring his older brother out of pity? No thank you. That's not what I meant. Look, I'm just glad things are going okay for you, and I'm incredibly proud of you. But it could all be gone tomorrow if you're not careful. Yeah. And get Hannah back. I know you miss her. How the hell did you know that? You looked mopey. I am not moping. I've known every girl you've ever fallen madly in love with since second grade. And each time, you'd force them so far into the friend zone that they never could hurt you with any sort of rejection. Stephanie, despite being the only girl you've ever really dated for an extended period of time, was the one exception. And you know why? Enlighten me. You never loved her. Hey, I, I gotta go. Hang in there. 
Catch you later. Uh okay. Bye. You forgot to mention to him that you're dating half the prophets. I'll stop, okay? I'll stop. I'm going out for a little bit. It's been, um, you know, it's been really cool doing stuff with you. I'm calling because I think that we can't see each other anymore. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, 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 you don't need to cry. No, you're a, you're a great girl. I think it won't be super professional if we continue. Hey, there's no need to call your ex-boyfriend, okay? There's no need to call your ex-boyfriend. I'm, in I'm entirely aware that yes, he yes he would beat me up. This is a good thing. I'm a horrible person, and I mean, and you're separate from me. Now you're not dating a horrible. Come on. No, it's not you. Okay, maybe I think it might just be best if uh, if we hang up here, and uh, I give you a voucher for four free classes at prior engagements. How does that sound? Hannah, I'm an idiot. Please call me. You talk to Hannah? Ben, did you reach Hannah? Well, shit. I have to make sure he locks the doors before he leaves. Now, get out. No, and I have a key. I'm changing the locks tomorrow. What do you want? Look, I know my mouth isn't always wide to my brain. Which I figured out all on my own. And I know I hurt Ben deeply, but I don't hate him. I know it was wrong to date him, but I never thought that he would propose. That boy was going to commit to anyone who would give him even a semblance of a chance, which you did, especially if she's hot, which you are. So how could you not see that this would become such a huge deal? I made a mistake, okay? Like normal people do sometimes. I wouldn't say there's anything quite normal about you. You could have just emailed this to me. No. I couldn't. Why are you telling me this anyway? It's been like, forever. It's over. I want you to stop pretending to hate me. I do it because... I couldn't do that to Ben. Was completely uncalled for. You could have stopped me. Now you're just being hypocritical. <laughs> so here we have a list of potential clients uh -huh. brought in by um, some people yesterday. I can contact them today. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Then ben Pryor? Uh, that's me. Can I help you? You've just been served. lawsuit for sexual harassment all former clients of prior engagements on behalf of Doug Dorian what the hell that son of a bitch My name is Rachel Mason, and I was sexually harassed by Ben Pryor. 
My name is Shar Wallace, and I was a client at Prior Engagements, and Ben Pryor sexually assaulted me. My name is Penelope Peters, and my boss, Ben Pryor, sexually harassed me. Ben, and Mikey and Hannah, if you're watching this, my small but quite capable team of lawyers represents the fine young women you just listened to. At 2 p.m. this afternoon, I've scheduled a meeting for you at the law offices of Hayden, Brooks, and Ergot, <coughs> my attorneys, to talk. I know that's not much time to find counsel of your own, but remember, the law doesn't take kindly to sexual offenses, especially when the aggressor is male. I sincerely hope that this matter can be resolved amicably between all parties involved so that you don't have to go to court for your actions. I don't want to sound ominous and mention jail time, but we all know that you'd be facing severe repercussions if we can't resolve this. Listen, I'm your friend, and I want to help you. Call me. I'm telling you, man, there's no proof. It doesn't matter. This is blackmail. Extortion. He's just trying to make money. Did you really get touchy-feely with all those girls? Well, I took them on dates, and I got a little kissy-kissy with them. But then Hannah got all bent out of shape, so I stopped. A few days ago, I called them all, ended it. You can look at my phone records. It's, it's, it's there. It, I, I didn't go any further than that. Well, unless you have friends at the NSA that can provide us with transcripts of those actual phone calls, it's not going to matter. It just looks like a list of numbers. Plus, it's completely dismissible. Not that I'm a lawyer or anything. Speaking of which, we really shouldn't be here without one at all. You! Entering the room, all princely, like he's not trying to ruin people's lives here, you sociopath. Are you seriously gonna keep your fingers like that? Should I go and get you a cat? I see you've chosen to forego legal counsel. What? No, we just, di we just didn't have any time. This is supposed to be an informal meeting. I knew it. It's time for us to go. We're getting out of here. Yep. I want to be clear here. There's no we in this discussion. This matter solely concerns Mr. Pryor and his decision to take the offer addressed here. So this all goes away and we settle out of court if I just pay you what prior engagement is worth. To compensate the victims, yes, that's correct. To compensate the victims. Is this what you do? You target successful, unique businesses, shake them down, shutter them, and then rake in all the cash? There are 18 levels of illegal going on here right now. I'm a witness. I'm a witness! How much did you pay the girls? A thousand? Ten thousand each? How did you even find them? He's dating our secretary. She is so fired. So fired. Could we have a word alone with Mr. Pryor? No. That wasn't a question. We have very good security. Don't say a word. Just listen and then come get me. We could fight this. Thank you for your cooperation. What are you talking about? Your agreement to pay our settlement or otherwise terminate operation of prior engagements and turn it over to our authority. I didn't sign anything. But you did. You son of a bitch. 
You son of a bitch! Shit. Well, think about this, Mr. Pryor. You're only losing your business. Do you want to lose your freedom, too? Fighting this in court will bankrupt you. Jurors look upon sexual assault very unfavorably. You'll probably do time. I'm gonna get an expert and prove that that is a forgery. We already hired one. The likeness is impeccable. You know, maybe if you'd been recording all this with your phone, or you had brought a lawyer rather than your uncouth friend, you might have something. Look, you're young, you'll bounce back. We're done. What happened? We just lost the business. Well, we might as well rip the whole bandage off while we're at it. I'm dating Stephanie. What, no ears this time? What do you want? We lost the business. And Mikey texted me. I could rub it in. I could say I told you so. You told me so. You want what, my sympathy? Yeah, kinda. You want me to fix everything so that Mikey can just berate me? Mikey berates you because he feels threatened by you. Well, I don't want to deal with any of this anymore. Hannah, please. Do you want to know the reason why I never dated you? Back you! Is this plastic? Do you want to know why I never dated you? It's because I, I love, love you. you. Jinx. You owe me a long-term relationship. Us? Yeah, us, us. <laughs> we'll, we'll close up shop. We'll figure out how much debt you're in. I'd like to solve it legally, but... There's no money. There's no money. And I hate lawyers. You were right. Well, I'll be a barista again. Mm. You can do whatever it was that you did. Mikey has his catering thing. I'll be with you step by step. You'll be fine. You might want to go change. Uh, Steph and Mikey are coming over later to, uh, well, I want to make everything official. Mikey and Stephanie? Evil Stephanie? Yep. If they don't kill each other first, they're going to make a beautiful couple. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. Why don't we, uh, go inside? I'll get my boyfriend a drink. Alright, let's go inside. I'll get frisky with my girlfriend. Drinks are good. Drinks? Yeah. Drinks are good? Yeah? <laughs> You're whipped. <laughs> <laughs> You still there, Richard? What's happening, bro? Well, I'm here with Mikey, Hannah, and Stephanie. We closed the shop. What happened? A guy named Doug happened, but I want you to hear this. Yep. First of all, 
I want to let you all know how much I care for you. This includes you, Steph. And Hannah. I think there was definitely a purpose for me to open up prior engagements. But I think it was different from what I originally thought. I'm proud of you and everything that you built. Gross. You two are a huge pain in the ass. We try. But in your own very different ways. You both helped shape me. You pushed me farther than I ever thought I could go. And you helped me do something that I never could have done alone. Also, please never have kids. Oh. <laughs> and Richard, even though you've just been a ghost on the screen these past few months, your advice has been indispensable in getting me this far. Getting us this far. You've been the best big brother a guy could ask for. And with that, I have to make it official. Prior engagements is now closed. We won't be opening up again tomorrow. We'll spend the rest of the week calling the clients and letting them know that we're closed. Ditto with utilities and internet. And I'll start selling things as fast as I can so we don't have to pay another month of rent. But even though prior engagements is failing, I feel like a success because of the people in this room. Oh, and you too. You too. I mean, you're not technically in the room, but... Mikey, Hannah, I know you two will need new jobs, and I'm, I'm sorry for- Sorry for nothing. It was never a job to me. Are you kidding me? I hated every minute. Well, hey, just so you don't feel bad about things not working out the way they were supposed to, I didn't exactly make it down to Chile. I've been here in Norfolk, couch surfing with some friends. What? Like Norfolk, Virginia? You've been lying this whole time. Doesn't matter. I'd, I'd like to move back down in a month or two. Everything can kind of go back to the way it was before. Everything will be normal like nothing happened. But it did happen. And you're still the most accomplished person in our family. Just don't forget that. Thanks. But don't give up on your dream yet. We're going to hear you on the radio. I'll be internet famous. Eh, yeah. Wait a sec. Especially with my name. Everyone will be like, isn't Richard Pryor dead? <laughs> no, 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 hold on a minute. You'll go viral. T-shirts, billboards, YouTube. Yeah. Wait! That's a great idea. But it'd be expensive. And I'm broke. I'm broker than broke. And I know you guys are too. Yeah. Right? I mean... I mean, this thing has been breaking even at best, and me and Mikey have been splitting rent ever since Richard left. It's a great idea, but it would cost too much. I just don't see where we could get that kind of money. You found it! Well, I got absolutely filthy searching for this in the gutters that night after your little temper tantrum. But I thought maybe it was all worth it, and I could use it one day. But it never really was mine. <laughs> and thus, Gollum loses the ring. Gollum? You're calling me Gollum? Oh, you ass! You utter ass! This is so great. Now you have to deal with him. <laughs> Here, Hannah, this is everything we need. Why don't you explain the plan? Local entrepreneur Ben Pryor has started a campaign to hug Here's you. Your story, let's begin. The world is fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. Step by step, you're on your way. You're welcome to a brighter day. Don't you know it feels good to be alive? You could be larger than life. Yeah. 
Your three o'clock's here. Oh, and by the way. Well, you're fired. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You got it. All right, this has to stop, okay? I can't even get outside of my house without someone coming up to me and hugging me, okay? This is, this, this is sexual harassment. This is libel. This is character assassination. Hey, man, even if you didn't take my business, it sounds like you just needed this in your life. You can't sue me just for making people be nice to you. I can't put the genie back in the bottle, but if you give me back my business, I can try, try to make this all go away. I'm not going back on the decision. Sue yourself. Really? What the hell, man? What the hell? I'm done. I've never met anyone so persistent. I want you to explain to me exactly what's going to happen here. I will rescind any material or evidence pertaining to the sexual misconduct of one Ben Pryor. That? That never actually happened. Neither I nor anyone else will interfere with the operation of your business. Now recorded at this time. Here are my terms. I already took the liberty of signing it for you. Given the circumstances, I was sure you wouldn't mind. They explicitly state that you fabricated the videos, that I am released of any and all liabilities regarding the fabricated videos and claims, and that you will never come within 500 feet of my business or any of its employees. Fine. Oh, it also says that if I find out that you're threatening any other small businesses or owners, I will personally kick your ass. And with that, I sincerely hope I never see you again. <sighs> the feeling is mutual. <sighs> Guys? No. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. For the love of God, don't get it, off. Don't fight it, Doug. Get, get off. All right, first date protocol. Uh, don't be creepy. Be nice. Drake, wilt thou marry me? Yes. <laughs> Went well, with this proposal and you saying yes? <laughs> we might have a kid soon. Well, um... And that baby would need somewhere to play while we're at work, like a baby play date studio? Prior arrangements. What do you think? 
Here's your ring back. That's... Is it that bad? <laughs> it has potential? Like good potential. <laughs> uh, okay, how about we talk about it after we're married? I was hoping to start it up soon. After we're married? Yes, ma'am. Onward. There's a rule, there's a rhyme, move along and the rest will follow I 